When you're in tune with the unknown, the known becomes peaceful. I read those words on a tea bag made by the Yogi Tea Company. And it really is all about what a metaphysical ministry is about. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and this is our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. And a metaphysical ministry is all about that quote, the fact that more than 99% of reality is not stuff you can see, hear, taste, touch, smell. It's beyond your five senses' ability to recognize and experience it. So when you allow yourself to be open to these other dimensions and other ways of being in the world more, oh, your life experience gets so much richer. We begin every week with a happy share. And I have so many happy shares this week. I know, I'll do this one. I found this fantastic new welcome mat for my door. And as soon as I put it down, it just brightened up my whole house and you can take a look at it. There you go. So I'm happy because I smile every time I go in and out of the door and I hope it has that impact on visitors to my home. Now, talking a little bit more about the unknown. See, the universe communicates with you nonstop. It might be a little piece of a conversation you overhear when you're in line someplace. Maybe you're driving down the street and there's a snippet of song that happens on the radio. Or maybe there's a billboard you drive by and you just catch maybe three words off of it. But it has a solution to something that you've been wondering about for a while. These messages are always there. And when you allow yourself to be open to that fact, you become aware of them. Watch how much easier your life gets. You got a question, you put it out to the universe and then know in full faith and trust that answer, that solution is coming your way. The other thing that happens when you ask a question is your physical brain, it looks for the answer. So how to make your life easier? Become aware that there's more to life than what you hear here, taste, touch, smell, and see. If you're on the ministry site and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding a space is holding a vision that somebody has and for their life, something they're not living yet. Maybe they'd like a different home. Maybe they want a different job. Maybe they're looking for a new kind of relationship. I don't know what it is, it could be anything. But, and if you have one, go on down there and just tell us what it is. And magically, it will appear up there also on the Hold the Space for page. What you do is you come back at least once a week. You read the name and what people want us to hold the space for. Why? Because when you're putting it out to the universe, the thought form's just so big. But when lots of people are putting out the same thought to the universe gets bigger and bigger and bigger and grabs the attention of the universe. And so it just may speed up the reality that you desire becoming yours. I'm really glad you came by. And if you haven't done so already, go in over there and fill in your name and email address to get a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual journey. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I wish you a week filled with new awarenesses and many blessings. Again, I'm Reverie. Reverie. <laughs>